Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming through. If you're new to my channel, my name is Naka Friedel, aka Naka F, and I welcome you all to my channel. So this is the eyeshadow look that I created using the Crayon Case Box of Crayons eyeshadow palette. I know looking at the palette, it could be super, a lot more colorful than it is, um, but I just wasn't really in the mood for a colorful look right now so i decided to do a pop of color on my inner corners or my tear ducts um so that's what i did and this is how the look came out i really 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 am happy with this look came out really nice and glowy and i just really like how this came out especially with my little outfit um i am gonna try i don't have a full-length mirror at home so i am gonna try to take a picture of my outfit whenever I get the opportunity and I'll put it in the video. And before you get into it, don't forget to thumbs up this video and to subscribe to my channel. If you aren't really sure about the video just yet, then still hit the subscribe button. And then once you're done with the video, go ahead and thumbs it up and hit the bell for notifications. If you'd like to see how I got this eyeshadow look using this eyeshadow palette, then please keep on watching. So, I mean, especially with the outfit I'm wearing tonight, I prefer to do more of a one eyeshadow kind of look um but let's open it up actually before i open it up to the video um i did want to let you guys know that this does contain talc as well um and i believe this eyeshadow palette runs for 30 dollars um check it out on the crayoncase.com so the box of crayons looks like this obviously a lot of colors i don't believe the matte book has a mirror it, it didn't have a mirror but this one has a nice mirror um, I'm finally going to be wearing my Chinese New Year Solar Boost Adidas sneakers tonight. So don't worry. I don't only wear sneakers. I do go out. I do wear heels. I do wear shoes. I do wear loafers, a Frida Kahlo sweatshirt and some black jeans and my sneakers. It, it's going to look really nice together. And then I'm wearing my little teddy coat that I got from J. Crew. Um, but yes, I will hopefully be able to insert a little picture of what I look like. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put on my foundation and my concealer and then we can do the eyes together. So let's do that really quick. Okay, back, face is done for the most part. So I'm highlighted, contoured, all that good stuff, all that jazz. So we're gonna get started with our crease color and we're gonna hit up this brown shade and it's called brown. All of the colors are just their names. All right, so we're gonna go in with the P. Louise base in rumor number one. I'm just going to do a little cut crease action you know, so this way our gold lid looks very defined. Okay, and we're gonna look up. And where the second point is, that's where we start to cut the crease. Now I'm gonna go in with the gold shade, which is named gold. Okay, I'm gonna try to use my finger and hopefully that'll do better. This is what it looks like on my finger. So I'm gonna go back in with my initial brush, which had my crease color on it. I'm not gonna add anything else to the brush. I'm just going to go into my crease again and just clean up that top part. I'm gonna go into black with the same brush that I used for brown and I'm just going to deepen the outer crease a little bit. I just wanna add a little bit of black. Remember with dark colors, always start off light or light-handed and then build it up. You do not want it to get. So for the moment of truth, 
I'm gonna go into the red with a small brush from uh, the Morphe Eye Credible collection um, or brush set. And we're going to put that in the inner corners. So for my next idea, I am gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction Palette, and I'm just gonna use this metallic red shade, and I'm gonna just put that over the matte red. We're gonna go back into the Box of Crayons Palette. We're just gonna go into the brown, and we're gonna add that to the lower lash line. We're just gonna add a little bit of black also to the outer corner of the lower lash line. So let's get our eyeliner going. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. Okay, before I continue with anything else, I'm going to glue my lashes, put glue on my lashes, and while they're dry, I'll do my mascara. So I'm using my Lily Lashes for Sephora collection in Miami. Now we're gonna go in with my Benefit Cosmetics Ruler Lash, and we're going to add mascara to top and bottom lashes. So I'm gonna add my cold pencil, my Sephora cold pencil, um, and we're gonna add that to the waterline. And we're gonna go in with Bad Gal Bang from Benefit Cosmetics, and we're gonna add that to the lower lashes. So for highlighter, I'm going to go in with my Milk Cosmetics Gold Ore. I've really, really, really been loving this lately. It's just been giving me the best glow. The best glow. Like. Now for blush, we're going to go into the Narcissist Wanted 2 palette. And we're going to go into this red shade right here, very lightly. We're going to put that in between the highlighter. Whoa. And the contour. Wow. Right, so I'm setting the face now with Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. All right, so for lips, we're gonna start off with our Sephora Collection Eyeliner in matte brown black. Then for liquid lipstick, we're gonna go in with Dose of Colors Knock on Wood, which is a pretty beige nude. Yeah, cause it has a exclamation point after the So it's Dose of Colors from the Mickey Mouse collection, and we're just gonna add that on top of the liquid lipstick. So I'm going to take out the clips, add my clothes, the rest of my clothes, and come back and do our closeout. So I'll be right, right back. Back, this is the final makeup look. I just wanted to show you guys my sweatshirt. It's a little baggy because it's a men's sweatshirt from Forever 21. Um, and I think they didn't have extra small, so I got a small. Uh, it's a little baggy, but I really do like it. It's a Frida Kahlo sweatshirt. It looks like this. And this is what I'm wearing. And I'm wearing a, a pair of black jeans. This is what I'm wearing with my Chinese New Year sneakers. So if you are interested in what Chinese New Year sneakers I'm talking about, then go ahead and check back in my unboxing video for the Chinese New Year Solar Boost Adidas sneakers. It's just, you know, where I had the clip that was up here, now it just, I would have to like flat iron this and I'm not ready to flat iron this hair yet. So we're just gonna kind of have to live 
with it. Just look at my hair from this side. There you go. Yeah. And for this nude lip, I think this might be my new nude lip combination that I, I'm gonna be wearing a lot. I actually really like how this pop of color in the inner corners came out. Um, I definitely will do this again with different colors. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for your love and your support. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and to subscribe to my channel because I'll be coming with more soon. See you all in the next one. Bye.